They're not here at the uh, entrance of the Ray Miller Trail. But I'm going to head over down PCH to the uh, Sycamore Canyon campground and go in through there. Then head up, try to meet Jess up at the top. The only change I made on the bike was I swapped out the pedals so I could lock in my shoes for this ride since I'm going on a proper mountain bike ride this time instead of staying on the roads. Let's go. So there is some beach camping right over here off to the right. If you want to come out here and camp at the beach then go run up Ray Miller Trail in the morning. It's just across PCH. Very convenient. Well, outhouses for bathrooms. And it's right on the sand, right on the beach. All right, and then just 1.6 miles away from the Ray Miller Trail, where I parked, you come to the Sycamore Canyon Campground. If you're going to come out here and do the Ray Miller race in December and you wanted to camp, this would be where to go. Not a bad little campground. Right across the street from the ocean. bathrooms instead of outhouses. Nice little spot. And then right at the end you get this entrance to these trails that go out just for miles and miles and miles. About a mile in or so, probably not even that far, get to the Overlook Fire Road and a bunch of trails. I'm going to try to meet up with my wife at the Ray Miller Trail, two and a half miles up. So, got a shot behind you. Oh, cool, a little water crossing. All right. Well, let's keep going up this hill. Loving the battery help. This is absolutely amazing. I know the camera is not doing this hill justice, but this is a steep hill. I've done it before on my regular bike. It's hard. I am making quick work of this thing. Got it up to pedal assist five. I'm holding like 8.8, .8, miles an hour. Obviously with my feet locked into the pedals, and being able to pull up makes a big difference, but Gosh. I'm working a little bit. This is so easy compared to a regular bike. So awesome. Just flying up this hill with ease. Woo! <laughs> Well, up to the top of this little first peak. I was just right down there at the beach. This thing makes quick work of climbing a hill. Only three and a half miles in. But man, compared to the last time I rode this on my regular bike, I just flew up this hill. You know, I've noticed about these mountains, these hills, you're never really at the top. 
you look up and you see the crest of what you're climbing, you think, oh good, there's the top. But then when you get to it, you can see beyond it and there's another climb. It's like life, you know, whenever you think you've gotten to the top, <laughs> nope, there's another hill to climb. Anyway, uh, well, we're at the top of this ridge. I think we're uh, at the top of the climbing. The first, let's see, we're at about four and a half miles. First mile and a half, two miles maybe, we're flat and on the road and I was on pedal assist three. The rest has been a brutal climb up this hill on pedal assist five. And my battery is drained to damn near 50%. One little bar above 50%. So what was it, 60%? I don't know. It doesn't show voltage, it just shows a, a battery meter. But I am finally up here on this ridge where I believe I'm gonna meet up with the Ray Miller Trail here in a, just a moment. Yep, I was right. So this is the Ray Miller Trail that uh, my wife would have come up on. I would have come up on, but no bicicletas allowed. Be a fun trail on a bike too. Nice single track. It's a really cool trail. But we are allowed up here on the fire road. And she's somewhere out there coming back. So let's see if we can find her. All right, well, <clears throat> met up with Jess, but she's real close to the Ray Miller Trail and that's where she's gonna go back down and I can't take my bike down there. So we just said hi, bye. I am gonna go uh, down a way that I haven't been down before. I'm not exactly sure how to describe it or explain it because I don't know any of the trail names, but I'm gonna go down and head up back down to that fire road that I first came in on off of Sycamore Canyon and head out that way. My battery is more than halfway dead. I've toned it down to pedal assist three since I'm on this flat section. I have only gone 5.8 miles and I'm nursing the battery. It is a bummer about this bike. I just really wish it had the capability of a lot more range than this. Good for short little rides. All right, so normally this is where we break off and go left. Back in my running days. Uh, I think what I wanna do is go right and head down to the uh, fire road. I got signs telling me wrong way, but I think that's for somebody else for it. Or something that they're doing out here. So this should be a fun little downhill.
Huh? Made it back out to the Sycamore Canyon Fire Road. Shouldn't be too much further and I'll be back in the campground. And since all that was downhill, I still have just less than 50% battery, so be alright, I'll make it back to the truck for sure. I know you can't see them, but you can probably hear them. There are at least three really brightly colored, green colored parrots, I'm guessing, in these trees. Really cool looking in real life. I know on camera you probably can't even see them. Buried up there in those leaves. Really neat. Okay, well, I pulled a bonehead move. I went the wrong way on Sycamore Canyon Trail. I was heading away from the campground for a couple of miles, cranking out on pedal assist five because I knew I had enough power to get back to the truck. Oops. Uh, so I'll turn around, <laughs> head back out the way I came. Uh, turns out the campground is this way. Another 4.3 miles, and then I got another mile or so before my truck. Now, all of a sudden, I'm worried about getting back. Might not have enough battery. Whoops. I'm testing out the durability of this weld that they put together on the rear swing arm and the waterproofing of this motor and battery and controller. I have submerged this thing a few times in these river or creek crossings. Everything's holding up great, working fine. I put a little more air in the rear shock before I left. I have not bottomed out the suspension once on this ride, so that's good. Oh, another little water crossing coming up. These are fun. Ooh. Oh, loose sand. Nice. camera up on the selfie stick. Elevated view. Let's see how this works out. Let's see if the camera falls off. Hopefully not. Whoa. Sweet. Got her turned down to pedal assist two. Nursing the battery out of here. Only have two bars left. Getting real close to the campground though, I'm, I'm fairly certain I will make it. Yeah, actually this is the last little bit here. I'm going to be on the campground here in just a minute, so I will definitely make it. All right, 
made it back out to the campgrounds, 13.8 miles total. Made it back to the truck. Bike is absolutely filthy. Gonna need to wash this thing completely. Grease up the chain. As soon as I get back home, I forgot to drop my dollar. My make it a great dollar. Make it a great day dollar out here. I'm just gonna, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna hide it on this person's truck. But what if they don't come to the passenger side? Well, then it'll fall off and someone else will find it. <laughs> All right, well, that was a good fun ride. Let's see, what did we do? 11.1 .1 average speed, hour and 24 minutes, 15.6 miles, and I about killed the battery. 